Welcome back to Side Alley Gaming, everybody, for another episode in this Cricket 19 World Cup series as we try to guide England to their first World Cup. And as you can see, it's England versus the West Indies from the Lord's Cricket Ground in this 5 5 match. So, a great performance by the English team in the last match, winning against Pakistan by four wickets. Unchanged lineup. We've made this change early on where we brought in Mark Wood. For Liam Plunkett and this uh, this team has been playing really good cricket. We've uh, I think picked up uh, three wins on the bounce now. So we've beaten Bangladesh, we've beaten Australia, and then Pakistan, and now we take on West Indies at Lords. And uh, yeah, looking to pick up another win, keep this winning run going. So now West Indies are actually in third, England are second. So it's a big match, a victory here, and we start opening up a little bit of a gap uh, over the rest of the pack, and that's what we're going to look to do. Right, let's join the people, people, the captains for the toss. West Indies have won the toss on this medium grassy pitch and they have decided to have a bat. So once again, we're going to be chasing. Right, here we go. Wokes coming in for the first delivery. So I think this is the second or at least the third match in a row where we are going to be chasing. And so far, it's worked a treat. We, um, we chased against Australia. I don't know why Moin Ali is wearing his sunglasses when there's black skies all above us really gloomy out there they might want to take your take your sunglasses off mate um yeah so um we chased against australia we won that match by five wickets i believe uh we chased against pakistan we won that match by four wickets and now we are chasing against west indies so if you believe in omens then uh, hopefully another victory coming for england so good start so far to the bowling three deliveries and uh no runs or it's just the one run i think so yeah just the one run of three deliveries the in swingers have been working like a treat uh, for some reason not sure why i was going to say the batsman can't get them away as this one will it run to the boundary i think we'll pull it back in just in time man pulls it back in so we restrict them no boundaries there and the key to our success so far has been bowling really well we've restricted the teams from making large totals and that's enabled us to go out there bat with the with little pressure come on is there a run out chance here we miss it man gets home yeah we've restricted the teams that means we've been able to bat without pressure and uh, and chase these totals down right last ball coming up only three runs off it so far can we finish strong here dabs it down towards square leg uh, sorry fine leg just the one run end of the first over four without loss right here we go mark wood coming in for the first ball of the second over we're going for a stock delivery here it's edged it's going to be a dot ball good start Oh, it's edged away as well. I thought it was going to run in for four. There's a man out there in the deep. So restrict him. I'm not sure if they took a single there or not. I'm sure. Surely they should have taken a single. Yeah, they did take a single. So just the one run right. Fourth delivery of Mark Wood's spell coming up. Going for the in-swinger. This time, no runs, I think. That's good bowling. Tight bowling. Just bowl wicket to wicket. Keep it full. And let the English conditions do the rest. Something that a lot of teams in the actual World Cup have failed to do. I've seen so many teams bowling short, back of a length. Not in England, guys. Just keep it full. It'll either swing or it will seam. And uh, yeah, that's the beauty of bowling in England. Right, last ball coming up. Only two runs off it. Great over. Can we finish strong here? And uh, we finish with a dot ball. Six without loss. Right, so Adil Rashid has been brought into the attack. He's caused havoc in this uh, in this third over. In the last two games, I think he's picked up... Uh, he's gone for a boundary in his first delivery as I was bigging him up there. He's, uh, he's I think he's picked up four wickets in the last two matches coming in in the middle overs. And uh, going to be looking for him to provide the breakthrough. He's been the man, our go-to bowler. And I think in this match, his luck is running out. First two deliveries gone for four runs back to back boundaries for the west indies so lewis has really laid into him and i'm not sure i've got a bit of a fuzzy brain now what do we bowl right let's pitch this one a little bit wider see if we can get it to come back in it does come back in not sure why he went for the reverse sweep there probably would have been better off just uh playing a, a traditional cover shot but uh, decided to go for the reverse sweep right come on rashid let's get it in there you go, much better bowling. Restrict the boundaries. Don't mind the singles, don't mind the doubles. But the boundaries is what finishes you in 5-5 cricket. Boundaries are the end. So yeah, let's restrict them, come on. 
Fourth ball coming up. Sorry, fifth ball coming up. Dot ball. So good comeback from Adil Rashid after getting smacked for two boundaries. We pulled them back in. 15 without loss. Last ball coming up. Can we finish strong? Doesn't take a wicket and restricts them to 16 for no loss at the end of the third over. Right, here we go. Moin Ali. So spin after Rashid. Again, we've gone for spin. And this it's a tactic that's worked, guys. As I mentioned earlier, it is hard to get spinners off. Again, goes for a big slog sweep there. And uh, yeah, projected scores aren't looking good. They need to go at 10 and over now just to get 36. And like we said before, in 5-5 five -five cricket... Oh, he's gone over the top there. In 5-5 five -five cricket, can we stop it? No, we can't. 50 is at least what you need to have any chance of defending it. So uh, unless uh, we get impacted by rain and then Duckworth Lewis comes into it, I think we should be okay. But as I said that, there we go, another boundary. So just like Rashid, Moin Ali is welcome to the crease by two back-to-back -back boundaries. Come on, let's tighten this up. Let's not let the game get away from us. Good delivery, no runs. Nice, that's going to be restricted as well. I don't think they're going to take a run. So, Moin Ali bowling a little bit better now. Last ball coming up. Has been smashed around. Eight runs off the over so far. Last ball coming up. Can we finish strong? And that's in the air. It's going to go. Is it going to be the man? And it is. And it's gone for a boundary. So, 12 runs coming off. Moin Ali's over. Here we go, Jofra Archer, 10 matches, 4 wickets, an average of 24.5. He's bowled really well for us in these death overs. 28 without loss in the uh, West Indies. Archer coming in, little glance, no runs there, so good start. Oh, he's gone big, he's gone over the infield. I think he's going to go all the way, lucky, one bounce four. I thought that Archer had been dispatched, four or six. But a little bit too leg side -ish there, Jofra. And uh, yeah, he got dispatched. Right, come on. Come back strong here. Nice little drive. No runs. Oh, it's edged through to the keeper. They're going to go for it. I think it bounced. Yeah, it was a bump ball. We're not going to challenge it. No need. Right, here we go. Two balls left. Can Jofra Archer finish off this over strong? That's edged through the gap. There's a man running after it. I don't think he's going to get to it. And this is going to be another boundary for West Indies. Right, last ball coming up, 36 without loss. So, what is going to happen here? Last ball, no runs. I'm really surprised they didn't go for it. End of the innings. England will need 37 for the victory. Right, here we go. Roy and Bresto coming out to the crease to see can they get England over the line. 37 needed of 30 deliveries. Cottrell coming in with the new ball. Something tells me that oh missed out missed out on a full bloody toss i was going to say something tells me that this run chase is not going to be as straightforward as we think we do say that anything under 50 should be chaseable but uh oh again missed out something tells me that uh, looking at the conditions i mean it looks like armageddon at lords if you look at the sky god knows what's going on there but yeah really gloomy Evening match here at Laws. 37 leader of 28. First two deliveries have been dot balls. That surely has to be a wide umpire. Thank you. Nice placement. It's in the gap. Will it run away for four? We've timed it nicely. Two men chasing after it. And they've pulled it back just in time. And it's going to be three runs. So England's innings is off the mark. Four runs without the loss of a wicket. And uh, yeah, three deliveries to go. So... Like we keep saying in every game, guys, strategy has to be the same. you got to hold your wickets. Again, lovely placement. This should be four runs. Timed it much better, and it is going to be a boundary. So as I was saying, you have to hold your wickets in 5-5 uh, in five -five cricket. It's very tempting, especially with these low totals, to start launching. But a couple of wickets, and uh, the whole game flips on its head. Right. Second last delivery coming up. This one's going to come into us. We're going to play on the leg side. Goes to square leg, one run. Cottrell coming in, Roy on strike for the last ball of this first over, none for nine England, it's outside, can we place it in the gap, yes we can, we finish the over strong, boundary 13 without loss England, right here we go, Thomas coming in, not even sure if that's actually, um, I don't know, if he's, is he a legitimate player, let me know, again wide outside of stump and we've edged it, what have I done, that should have gone through the covers for four runs but it hasn't, and England have lost their first wicket, 
Dear oh dear. Right, here we go. Joe Root coming in. 10 matches, an average of 28. Highest score of 21. Not out. So, Thomas, forget if he's a if he's a legitimate player or not. He's made the breakthrough. England are one down for 31. Yep. And again, we're beaten. Get back in your crease, Root. What are you doing? Again, there's movement now. Nice little shot. We'll get one run there. So, 23 needed now of 21 deliveries. We're one down. All of a sudden, the ball's starting to move around. West Indies are starting to get on top of us a little bit. Still back ourselves to win from here. But if we lose another wicket, that one was a little bit uppish. Lovely placement. Should run away for four. Outfield is a little bit slow, but not that slow. And that runs away to the boundary. So, as I was saying, lovely shot there by Jason Roy, who moves on to now 11 or 5. So, as I was saying, it is, uh, yeah, one more wicket down. And uh, it all of a sudden starts to become a little bit more difficult. But if you're going to bowl it there, we should have dispatched that one. I thought that was going to go through the gap for four runs. Just the single, so ticking along nicely. 18 needed of 19 deliveries. Roy is on 12. Root is a new man in, who's a one off two, run, two deliveries at the moment. Yep. And lovely placement. We've beaten the man. Not sure what happened there. It's going to go for four runs. Came off the bat like a bullet. And I think uh, the man who was in that cover didn't have time to react. Right, here we go. Start of the third over. Roy on strike. Only 14 now needed. Should have gone on the back foot. Still, we'll get away with it and it'll be one more run. Yep. Roos tried to go for the big shot. He hasn't got hold of it. The man has dropped it. They'll come back for the second chance of a run out. It's all happening out there. Joe Root had a rush of blood. Tried to go over the covers. Aerial route, and it's uh, it's something that Joe Root is not known for these big shots. And he uh, we tried to go over the cover field, uh, sorry, over the fielder at covers. The catch was dropped. Then there was a chance of a run out, and this time we'll just take the single. Right, ten needed off fifteen. I do have an urgency in me to finish this game quickly, but I don't think we will. That's a lovely placement. There's a man there. Now they're protecting the boundary. They know we're strong in that area. We'll just get the one run. Again, placed it, played it nicely, didn't get the placement. Doesn't go in the gap. Eight needed of 13 deliveries now. So England edging closer to their fourth victory um, or fifth victory again. I should know this, right? I should know this, but I don't. But England again, lovely shot. Man comes around. Does he stop it? I don't know what he's done. That's going to be a boundary. Really strange. I thought he was going to come around and cut it off. He doesn't. And we end the over really strong. Right, here we go. Carlos Brathwaite coming in. Just four needed of 12 deliveries. Root is on strike. And has he gone big? He has gone big. He's beaten the man. Has going to run away. Has it gone for a six or a four? I'm not sure. But either way, the match is over. It is four runs. Goes for the big shot over square leg. Thank you very much. And England get home for another victory. So here we go guys, let's have a look at the match summary. West Indies made 36 off their 5 overs. it was never going to be enough. Lewis 20 not out for them, England chasing it down in 3.1 overs for the loss of one wicket. Jason Roy 18 not out, Joe Root 13 not out, Roy picks up the man of the match, England pick up another victory, getting home by 4 wickets. Right, so let's have a look at how the rest of the fixtures in round 6 played out is South Africa versus India. South Africa winning by five wickets. So back-to-back -back defeats now for India. Again, a surprising result. Would have expected them to get over the line against South Africa. Australia, who are bottom of the table, take on Bangladesh. And Bangladesh winning up by four wickets. I'm not sure what's going on with the Aussies. But I think that is, uh, yeah, that result pretty much puts them out of the World Cup now. Sri Lanka versus Afghanistan. Sri Lanka winning by one run. A very close match at Old Trafford. Pakistan taking on New Zealand at Headingley. And Pakistan getting home by four wickets. And obviously, England picked up the victory earlier in the day against West Indies. So if we look at the World Cup table now, England take the top spot. Six matches played, five victories, the one defeat, 10 points joint with New Zealand, but we're, we've got a better net, non, net run rate. Uh, net run rate? <laughs> net run rate. Uh, New Zealand dropped to second. West Indies come in third. India fourth. South Africa fifth. Sri Lanka sixth. Pakistan remain, I believe, in seventh. Bangladesh eighth. Afghanistan ninth. And I can't believe this. Australia 
10. Yes, with a minus 2.18 net run rate. Just the one victory and they've lost uh, every other match. So I think it's fair to say Australia are out. And uh, yeah, now a little bit of a gap opening up between ourselves and New Zealand and we're going away from the pack. West Indies and India are hot on our tails. But uh, yeah, six matches gone, only only a few more matches, I think three more matches remain. It's now looking like England should, from here, qualify for the semi-finals. In round seven, Australia will be up against South Africa, Sri Lanka will take on India, Pakistan taking on Bangladesh. That game's going to have a bit of rivalry and should be a good one. Uh, we take on Afghanistan, who've already caused a few upsets, so we can't take them lightly. But you would expect us to get over the line against them, and it's going to be West Indies versus New Zealand. And I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please do smash that like button. If you're new around here, do subscribe. Let me know in the comments below how you're finding this World Cup series. We are on the road to try to see if we can guide England to their first World Cup victory. So far, it's looking good. So far, it's looking like we may just be able to do it. But until the next Cricket 19 World Cup series, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. Look after yourselves and catch up soon.